I are headed for a hike out into the woods. We plan on running into some friends. Come on, let's go! As Celia and I hiked off into the woods, we met up with Moose, a rescue dog, and his sister Sierra, my friend Maddie's puppies. We enjoyed looking at views, eating snacks, enjoying running the trails, even licking each other's faces. It was an all-around wonderful day spent in the woods. Well, we've been having a great day today. Not every dog has fun when they're hanging out with other animals. Check out this story by Marla Fries, named Little Brown. Little Brown by Marla Frazee. Little Brown was cranky, probably because no one ever played with him. Or maybe no one ever played with him because he was cranky. At this point, it was hard to know. The big dogs chased balls, and the small dogs ran around in circles. The old dogs napped together in the shade, and the young dogs got muddy. But Little Brown did nothing, and did it alone. He knew he could be a dog who would, if given half a chance, chase balls, run in circles, nap in the shade, or get muddy. But Little Brown just watched the others and got crankier and crankier. That's why, when the ball rolled right over to him, he nabbed it. And that's why he grabbed the tassel toy, too. And the blanket. And the stick. And the flying disc. And the football. And the happy rope. The chew bone. The stripy pillow. And even the rock. Soon, he had collected quite a lot of things that didn't belong to him. The big dogs and the small dogs and the old dogs and the young dogs stopped what they were doing and looked at Little Brown. They looked at the stuff. They wanted it back. But Little Brown wasn't giving in. This was a dilemma. The dogs wondered things, some of which they had wondered before. Is Little Brown cranky because we don't play with him? Or do we not play with him because he is cranky? Should we play with him to get the stuff back? Or will that make us cranky too? What then? Little Brown wondered things, too. If I give it all back, will they like me? Then will they play with me? What if I give it all back and they still won't play with me? What then? None of the dogs could figure it out. Neither could Little Brown. It was a lot to wonder about. So they sat around, wondering and scratching until it was time to go in. Maybe tomorrow. They would know what to do. I wonder if Little Brown and the other dogs will ever solve their dilemma. What would you do if you were Little Brown? What would it take for you and your friends to solve a dilemma like they had? These are great questions. Sometimes it takes a big act of bravery or courage to solve a dilemma by making the first move. Hopefully, Little Brown and his friends can figure out how to solve their dilemma before too long. Keep on reading. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Come on.